everyone and welcome to Dryer Days Art Studio. This is Catherine. Thank you so much for being here today. Well, we're going to work on Blue Moon Luna here today in this video. So as I was making this piece, I did have my uh, video going and I had a couple people on Instagram when I posted this finished piece ask if I had done a video. And this piece was kind of made last minute in my studio. I knew that I had the little flowers. I knew I had the crescent moon cut out and that I had some new blue pigments to the store that I really wanted to use. So I kind of quickly pulled this together and wasn't really paying attention too much to my camera and it cut out in a few spots because my storage was full. So um, I'm gonna walk you through this as best as I can. As always, all of the products used are gonna be listed below, including where I got this crescent moon cut out. And right here, we're gonna be using Total Boats resin for this entire project. And this is resin mixed with my darkest blue color cream. And I'm just getting a little base of that on here. You can see I did not paint my board first, which if you guys watch my videos, you know I usually paint my surfaces first, the color that I want it to be. Uh, but I decided here that I was gonna put down just some of the darkest blue at the bottom of the crescent moon cutout because this is where I was gonna lay in my silk flowers, my little roses that I got. And I did get those roses off of Itzy. I will link the shop where I got those as well. And then here I am laying down some of my brand new pigment that I got. It is actually called Blue Wishes Do Come True. It's gorgeous. It's almost like a glitter pigment. If you saw in that video in the beginning where it almost looks like it's sparkling like a glitter, that's actually this pigment because there is no glitter in this piece at all. It's just mica pigments and um, there is some glass glitter, but you can obviously see where that is and it's kind of contained to one area. So now just sort of blending these two together. I also added in there some clear resin as you saw. I'm also gonna be using some blue pearl pigment in here, which is a very popular pigment in my store. And I'm just really moving this around now. As you can see, I don't have a ton of resin on here. So I had had another project I was working on. Um, I had a tiny bit of resin left over. Like I said, I kind of pulled together products that I had laying around and tried to squeeze out as much resin as I could get onto this piece for a base layer and something that I could put those roses on. Okay, so here you can see I pretty much have all the resin down where I want it. We have dark kind of doing an ombre into this lighter area. I think it looks really organic, kind of spooky almost, just very, very pretty and haunting. And I'm gonna add some of that darkest blue, again, just around the edges here, because I just wanna get a nice coverage on my sides. I did not tape the sides, so I do wanna get a nice resin cover on them. Okay, so I'm gonna slow this down here and explain to you guys a little bit what I'm doing. So you can see I have my cell phone sitting there with a picture of this moon where I had already laid down the roses. So I do recommend doing this, especially if you're gonna be laying something in like this when your resin's getting tacky and you don't wanna to have to be fussing with it a whole lot, moving things around. Lay your things out first, really get where you want them, and then you'll be able to build from there. But I usually take a picture. I do this a lot too when I'm doing like my flower casting. Okay, so obviously you can see here we missed kind of a lot. <laughs> um, I have the roses down now. And then what I did was I just incorporated in actually some crystal quartz, some mirrored glass that I got from Michaels, and then some little crystal gems and just kind of cascaded them down away from the roses to really give us a nice transition between the textures there. I wanted to break those sections up a little bit more and have a nice blend and I think we've achieved that now in this piece. So I am really sorry we missed some of those spots. You can see I drizzled in a little bit of glass glitter in between the flowers too, just again to give us a nice transition, a nice blend of texture. Those gems look really cool in there, almost like little bubbles in water. So guys, I'm sorry we missed half of the uh, filming here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video though and uh, you like the direction that I went with this piece. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. 
Please like, comment, and subscribe. It's totally free for you and really helps me out. And until next time, everybody, keep on pouring.